Okay, here we are. It's Wednesday, October 4th. Inner City Press, 93rd day in a row. Um, banned from the UN by uh, Big Tony, Antonio Guterres. This is his publicly funded $15 million mansion. Yes, it's true. And Belarus. Belarus is on the move. We've got guys in blue. Let's zero in. This is your money at work, folks. You're paying for it. You're paying for the mansion. They're going in. They're throwing up their hands. Yes, it's true. A small four by four. They've gone back. They've gone back for some more suitcases. What's happening? Did Tony not arrive? No, no. They've got more. Gifts. Wait a second. Gifts? What's in the box, man? Something is in the box. Something is in the box. Now, here's the irony. The biggest irony is that before Stefan Dujaric, the spokesman, hatchet man, had me thrown in the street, arranged to have me roughed up for criticizing the way he spoon-fed Al Jazeera, he tried to say that the filming of The Residence was a big no-no because it's a secret where it's located. Number one, it's paid for by you, the public. Number two, it's not a secret if Antonio Guterres, tired as he may be, holds his photo ops in the residence. Big Tony has thrown a journalist in the street for reporting on his corruption, and yet there he is with a public photo op with a strongman's foreign minister. Surprising? I think they've got a dog. Canine unit? Yeah, man, canine. Why have they brought canine up here? Can Belarusians are coming out. There he goes. It's the man himself, Mr. Anthony to Tony Guterres. Come to know him. Yes, he's saying goodbye. Big Tony is saying goodbye. Here he goes. This is your money at work. The Foreign Minister of Belarus, Big Tony. Goodbye. The only journalist that dares to cover the UN in all of its splendor, in all of its disgusting decay and corruption, the covering up of arms sales by Patrick Ho, the, the sale of arms by a UN NGO. He's watching. He, a, final, a final wave, a final wave, close the door, and fade to black.